All right, all right, all right. What's going on, 49er fam? 49er faithful? 49er gang? Man, this is like a last minute video. I completely neglected to remember that our game was today and not on Sunday. So I am so sorry that I did not get y'all with this content before then. Just a quick note, of course. Uh, please hit that like button. Definitely hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell to keep yourself up to date on any and everything San Francisco motherfucking 49ers. With that being said, let's get right into it because this is going to be a quick one here. So, y'all know I'm a bit of a numbers guy. Rams, 12 total offense, 6 passing offense, 24th rushing offense. Now, on the flip side of the ball for the defense, 23rd rushing defense, but they have the ninth passing defense, and they do have Jalen Ramsey over there that basically replaced Marcus Peters. So, I mean, you know, not too bad, but we still got Mr. Kittle, we still got Mr. Sanders, and we still have young Debo out there trucking over anybody the minute he get the ball. So, I think we're going to be okay. Uh, they do have the 12th overall defense. Now, what's funny is is we're kind of similar in ways because we're very good against the pass, but not too good against the run. But these last couple of games, we have been great against the run. Last time we played the Rams, there was no Todd Gurley. There is Todd Gurley now. So you see him in and out. Um, but Gurley himself for right now, 741 yards. He's got 10 TDs. So even with him not really being in a lot, he still has scored. So, you kind of got to look for him, but he does have three fumbles, and that's a plus for us because we can create turnovers. So, uh, then we got the backup running back, Brown. He's got 230 yards, four TDs. You probably won't see much of him. You'll probably see more of a heavy dose of Todd Gurley. They'll mix the two in and out, but I think you'll see more Todd Gurley because they want him to run the ball and they want him to run effectively because everything that Jared, Jared Goff does is predicated off the play action pass. So, Basically, that play action pass ain't working. Jared Goff ain't working. Um, and then, oh, before I go any further, man, you know, my heart goes out to young CJ Beathard, man. His, his little brother was killed in a fatal stabbing, y'all. You know, it's just, it's, it really sucks, man. You know, when you lose somebody and you lose a brother, I don't know. I don't have any biological brothers. You know, I don't lost some homies that are close to me like brothers, but, you know, uh, you know, may Clayton Beathard rest in peace, and um, you know, and may him and his family, you know, be very strong and be blessed during this hard time in their lives. Man, it's just messed up. You know, I had to definitely slide that one in there for that dude. Man, he he's played as admirably as he could for us for you know the past couple of years, and um, he's he's still a member of the team, man. So anytime somebody something like that happens for anybody on the squad you know we want them to stay stay blessed and we're gonna keep our prayers up for him so remember man you know if you have a moment take a moment of silence for cj's little brother man he was unfortunately stabbed to death and you know we wish him and his family nothing but peace and blessings during this time and you know hopefully uh he gonna be all right and if anything we gotta go out there and get this done for them you know get it for cj get it for his little brother you know, and yeah, I mean to turn the video somber, y'all, but you know, back to the figures. So Cooper Cup, um, 1,031 yards. He got eight TDs, averaging 12.4 yards a catch. Robert Woods, 950 yards, one TD, 12.7 yards a catch. Tyler Higby, their little tight end, 546, two TDs, 10 and a half yards a catch. Brandon Cooks, 504 yards, 14.4 yards per carry. And uh, <laughs> one TD. But, you know, their receivers have been doing really good. The guy we got to really worry about is Cooper Cup. Um, we st still have to definitely worry about Robert Woods as well. Cooks is always a threat because of that top end speed, and he can take the top off the defense. So we got to be very mindful with him. Um, but, you know, we have the number one passing defense. And if y'all ain't from if y'all don't know, K1 and Uncle Shermer back. So that bolsters the. Uh, Passing defense, you know, that means we don't have to worry too much about, you know, uh, Cooper Cup coming out that slot. You know, we can just focus on trying to make sure that Brandon Cooks doesn't take the top off the defense and keeping and containing Robert Woods and watching over this little Tyler Higby kid. Um, so for us, you know what I'm saying, we got to use the, the run game against them. You know, this is their, their weak point. And, you know, we got to run all day, you know, with Raheem the Dream and TC. Um, uh, honestly, I think we're probably going to see, if Shanahan is smart, 
and if things are going the way that I think they're going to go, we're going to see a, a heavy dose of, you know, Raheem Mostert. A heavy dose, man, because he's been the one running the ball. He's been the one that's been successful, and he's been getting the lion's share of the carries, and he should continue to. I don't think you put anybody else in, honestly. I think, you know, maybe here and there you want to spell him, but, you know, Breida came back, man. Either he showed the rest or they just played him well because he got two fumbles last week, didn't have no yardage. That, that's just that's just no bueno, man. So for us on offense, we got to start. We got to run the ball down their throat. And give our defense time to rest, man. They've worn out. They're tired. We ain't had a bye week since week four. So this game is a must win for us to be able to know when we can go into Seattle next week, we can beat them, and then we can rest. Because that defense is just worn out, man. You know, when you got all those those injuries, you don't have Ronald Blair. You don't have DJ Jones. You don't have DeMontre Moore. So you got all these guys that we usually rotate in and out, and it's hard, man. Julian Taylor ain't been playing in weeks. So it's frustrating because you got to be on the field at all times and go hard every day. And, yes, this is what you get paid to do, but it's always nice to be spelled every now and then so you can be able to catch a breather and get yourself back into the game. Um, but we, we got to keep our offense on the field and take our time and run that clock like nobody's business to give our defense time to rest so they're not going too crazy. Uh, for them on defense, of course, we got to worry about Michael Brockers, Dante Fowlers, and Clay Matthews. They got the bulk of the sacks, and the pressure comes from, you know, these guys. Uh, and, you know, our center and our guards got to be on their P's and Q's. We may have Daniel Brunskill starting at guard because Mike Person has been having a neck injury and has been nagging and bothering him. And then we got Ben Garland again. You know, he's our, our center for the rest of the year because Western Richburg is out. So we got to just be smart about this, man, because Aaron Donald going to try to eat both of them up. You know, um, Brunskill is very good at pass and run protection, so I think we're going to be okay there. But at the same time, it's still, you know, offensive line got to be on their P's and Q's, and we got to be dope, you know. Um, there's not one specific as far specific defender as far as their DBs that we want to kind of key on. Uh, you know, maybe Jalen Ramsey and possibly having a veteran like Eric Weddle in the back. You know, we can probably be worried about them. But the one thing we, can, we don't have to worry about with Weddle is he's not fast. And Ramsey is quick, but he's not that quick. So if Debo gets out there, he'll blow by Ramsey. You know what I mean? In the open field, he ain't catching them. You know, so we just have to be smart. We got to be skilled when it comes to taking the attack to these guys. Run the ball as much as possible because this is a situation where they are not good at run defense. And throw the ball when we need to. When you see those openings, use Mr. Kittle. You know what I'm saying? Use Emmanuel Sanders. Use Debo Samuel. You know, throw KB in there too. You know what I'm saying? So he can get in the, you know, get in the end zone and get his Millie Rock on and do all this little crazy-ass dances and everything, man. You know, the last time we played him, we had total dominance. Uh, we shut, you know, we shut the pass down. The run was a little bit effective, but it wasn't too effective. That was only on the first drive of the game. After that, we didn't play that shit. We just shut them down all the way. Jared Goff, I think, had like 78 yards passing. So this is a game that we should win and we will win and we have to win. We need this on our quest to continue to be able to, you know, um, be able to beat these guys in any way, shape, or form that we can. I can tell you right now, I am – very hopeful that the Seahawks lose. Uh, but even if they do, you know what I'm saying, is this is just going to be a situation where we wind up uh, trying our best to be able to get that number one seed, man. That's what we need. We need that number one seed. We need it. We need it. We need it. We need it. We got to have it because that gives us that body, gives us time to rest, relax. Uh, I know y'all still on the rumors, man. Quan talking about he coming back for the Super Bowl and all that shit. We'll see, man. I mean, like I told y'all in my other video, because of the injury, the way it happened, he can probably have a shorter time frame. And it would be nice to have him back to help out with Fred and Dre and, and uh, you know, Aziz. But we don't want him to get injured any further, so we'll protect him from him if we need to. Um, but we, we on our way, man, and we got to do what we got to do. So let's stay blessed. Let's continue to keep doing what we got to do for ourselves. And, you know, we're going to be the Niner gang. We're going to stay Niner faithful, and we're going to go out there and get this motherfucking W tonight. And if y'all don't believe in that, I don't know why y'all Niner faithful. You can't call yourself faithful if you don't think we're going to win every damn game. Because I know for this year, I thought we was going to win every fucking game. I didn't think we was going to lose not one. We were rolling. We were doing what we needed to do. Defense was balling, but injuries and attrition happened. So I'm not going to stress about it. I'm just going to tell y'all 
We go out there. We fight hard. We get the W. You know what I'm saying? Eric Armstead is pissed. If y'all ain't seen his Twitter, man, yo, he stole he, he stole that shit from Peyton, Peyton in full, man, Makai Pfeiffer. He was crying. Yo, A's. Yo, NFL. Yo, Rams. I'm going to be on some straight murder shit, man. I'm about to kill quarterbacks. You know what I'm saying? Sinners, guards, tackles. All of them can get it. I'm telling you, man. Like, Armstead is pissed about that Pro Bowl snub. Like, super pissed. But you got to remember, the Pro Bowl is just a popularity vote. It's always going to be that way. It's always going to be a popularity vote. So, to me, that's good motivation. Take that out on the Rams offensive line and on Jared Goff and on Ty Gurley. I don't mind. I don't mind him being pissed off about that not once. That just puts more fuel to the fire, you know. But the line itself as a whole, we just got to get it right. We got to do what we got to do. And this is going to be a, a, a night for us to be able to celebrate because we got the W. We one win closer to getting a bye week. And we'll be one win closer to hitting, you know, catching to that Super Bowl, man. So y'all stay blessed. Y'all stay faithful. This is an easy dub for us. We got to go out there. We got to play smart. We got to play hard. We're going to be at home, sort of faithful. In the words of Jimmy G, are going to be rocking. You serious right now? Come on, man. At the end of this game, all I want to hear is bang, bang, Niner gang. Niner gang. Bang, bang, Niner gang. Niner gang. You know what I'm saying? Y'all have a good evening, man. If y'all at the bar and y'all watching, hey, please be mindful of how much you drink and please be careful when you get out there, man. I ain't saying don't celebrate, but be mindful, man. Keep yourself safe. Be easy.